Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Ease Memories of Celsetta. Last time we made our way to the primeval lands, using some sort of underwater passageway, and we came across a pretty well-kept graveyard um, that included Adol's grave. Now, if you look at this monument, it's yellow, but we can't actually warp to another yellow monument because it's not the same shape. Yeah, it's such a pain. I really do not like the teleportation system that they use in this game. It's like, just let me warp to wherever I want to. It's, ugh, it's, it's just, ugh. Like, all it is is just busy work. I'm not really a fan. Like, I like fast travel. I think that that's wonderful. But, you know, they've had fast travel in games since the NES era with, like, return spells or airships and things like that. So, like, if they worked really well there, why screw it up here? Oh, wow. Oh, it's a town and, like, a lightning storm, and it looks like the tower. Oh, they're looking at the town. I'm looking kind of at that storm over there. Oh, why? Because it has windmills? Yeah. Oh, okay, so wow, we made it really far. I guess we made it over to this tower, too. Yeah, no kidding. Although the primeval lands are kind of small. Yeah, maybe he already has. Who knows? Hmm. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's see, anything over here? No, there's nothing. But you just want to be extra sure and hug corners because that's what you gotta do in this game. Yeah, I, I know I really shouldn't be complaining so much, but it just it, it just gets on my nerves, you know? It, it just It's just too much. Between the uh, fast travel issue and then the, um, the hugging the walls issue, like, it's just, I don't know, bothersome. Okay, we have some more enemies over here. Let's take out them. Although, I've got to say, the enemies are really easy here. Like, we had that one, um, like, monster upgrade back in the Western Forest, where the monsters were pretty ridiculous. And then over here, like, they're pretty simple. In the Underwater River monsters were pretty simple, too, I've got to say. Whoa! Let's see, take out these guys. Ooh! Wow, I'm getting ton- Whoa! Holy crap! That seems like a pretty damn cool skill. Let's actually equip that skill on him. Uh, better than Guy Wall, at least. Uh, oh, whoa, look at that! Yeah, it's only 20 SP. I guess I can go ahead and equip Gaia Spear on him. And you got some new stuff too, didn't you? Um, Wind Edge. Go ahead and equip that. Um, let's go ahead and equip all these different things on her. Uh, Durin. Okay, you already have other skills. It looks like they kind of just... What does this do? Oh. Ooh. That's not half bad. Um, but it's to and from him. Let's see. I don't think I have Swallow Kick on anybody. Okay, there we go. That way they can use their skills whenever they need to! Yikes! Bam! Get this guy's ass! Bam! But again, we have huge monsters, and I don't want to deal with them right now because they are a huge pain in the ass, and they will kill you! Oh, at least I got him. Oh, okay, he's frozen, so I can actually deal some nice damage to him. But yeah, even though he's frozen, like, look at how long it's taking for me to kill this guy! He has so much HP, and he was about to attack me, so I wanted to use my Soul Breaker so I can get even more damage in on him uh, before he could do anything to me. Man, that took forever to kill that guy. Like, that was insane. Oh, the screen is kind of flashing as if there's a memory. Ido's father. Oh, it's that spirit of exploration that he has. Adol's dad knows that he's gonna, you know, wander whenever he grows up. Oh, his father was a traveler too. Really? 
Oh. What kind of flowers? Sell set of flowers? Hmm. I guess it runs in the family. You know, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, as they say. Okay, moving right along. Ooh! I do want to grab that treasure. Let's see. Hey, hey! Warrior Seal 2! That's going to increase your skill experience every time you use a skill uh, by two. So that's kind of nice. Not really using those. I would rather have extra strength, but that's just me. Let's see. Let's go on down here. Clear up this area. Yeah, I'm not killing that guy again. Man, it took me forever the first time, and I also don't have my limit break available either. So there's no reason to uh, deal with him. Okay. I think that's everything that I can do in here. Might as well kill these guys. Considering I could just kill them in one shot. All of them with one stun raid. Man, it's such a good skill. Looks like there's some slowdown in this area. I guess because it's just so large. Eh, oh well. It is what it is. Bam! Let's go on this way and see what we can't find. Like all these little... Stonehenge monuments. Ooh, treasure! Over here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Really? Die! Oh, okay. That's going to raise your defense up uh, temporarily if you use it as an item. I would probably never will, just like I never used that power tablet or the healing tablet that we've had for quite some time, actually. Let's see. Damn! Man, I have so much gold and stuff, it's like, I don't even need to stop and, like, try to gather this gold now. It's just, like, I'm swimming in gold. It's really nice. Okay. Go ahead and grab this stuff. Awesome. It looks like there's a lot of ruins here. Like, you know, okay, they were talking about that kingdom. Look at this guy. He's, like, stuck up in the air, seriously. Uh, they were talking about that kingdom that flourished 800 years ago. Something tells me that the kingdom was actually here, in the primeval lands, rather than over in, um, you know, the actual forest proper. I mean, there were some ruins there, but here there seems to be a lot more. It also seems more clear, um, of, like, the brush and everything. There's not any, um, you know, not, not a whole lot of trees, so it would be easier to build a kingdom here. And they said that the town is much more technologically advanced, so maybe they're all descendants of, um, of that kingdom that they were talking about. Get over here so I can stun raid you! Yikes! Let me take out these guys. Man, there's so many of these enemies, it's ridiculous. Die! Perfect. Are these, like, little rats? Are they kangaroos? Like, what exactly are these things supposed to be? I don't know. Oh, well. It doesn't really matter all that much. Why is it that Adol's strength seems to be so much higher than everybody else's? Like, he's able to kill these guys in one hit, and Karna and Ozma are, like, taking multiple hits, and they're still not, like, killing anything. Like, get it together, guys. Well, we've made it to Windia. Or, um, hmm, kind of looks like Windia, at least. I don't know. Seems like smart people. Twirly things. Well, I guess Karna wouldn't know. They don't have them in Komodo Village. That's the only place that she actually knows about. He is an information dealer. Seriously. Oh, probably. I guess we're going to get arrested in about a hot second. <laughs> Poor guy. Eh, probably. Yeah. Whatever's coming is pretty inevitable, so let's just get this show on the road. Hey there. We didn't do anything! Whoa! Yikes! That's right, they think that we're dead. Oh, yeah. 
So naturally, they would presume that we are a ghost. Did you guys do anything to deserve getting haunted by me? Well, of course it was. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder what happened to him. Why would they think that he's dead? And who's this girl with a unique character sprite? I'm sure she's no one important at all. Uh, yeah? Who are you? Oh, I see. You've lost your memories. Well then, let me introduce myself again. I'm Kalilika. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, yeah, how'd you know that I lost my memories? Like, seriously. The hell, girl? Screw you, what a bitch. Wow, it's not really my fault. Who are you anyway? Hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Stupid kids in JRPGs want to smack you. <laughs> okay, I guess so. It's fine. So what is the name of this village anyway? Does it have... Oh, okay, Highland Town. Huh. Just like in Breath of Fire 2. You know, there was Windia and there was also Highland. So, yeah, getting a lot of vibes here. What's next? A person with wings on their back? <laughs> huh. Oh, okay. Oh. How did Adol die? Yeah, what happened? Oh, oh, so they thought that he drowned in the waterfall. I guess, you know, the river washed him back up in Kaznan, and that's how he, you know, ended up back there, half dead and without his memory. Yeah, no kidding. He survived how many shipwrecks now? Hasn't drowned yet. Oh. Hmm. The right of summoning Lisa. Really? Lisa was in the previous games. Um, Kalilika and Aaron, no. Oh, Eldeal. Eldeal was also in the previous games. So yeah, it's kind of nice. Are we trapped in the guest quarters? Great, so we kind of are. That's just lovely. Oh, just one day. That's fine. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Well, thanks. You know, I kind of need a rest anyway. Well, you do. Yeah, no kidding. Well, apparently Adol made it to the tower, so... Hmm. Yeah, I did. It's almost like they knew that he lost his memory. Yeah, no kidding. That painting in the background, is that like a picture of the tower but without the storms? Kind of looks like it. Eh, who knows. Yeah, that is going on about streetlights. Do any of you guys ever watch Versailles? Uh, that show on, it's either on Netflix or Amazon Prime. It's really good. It's about, you know, um, King Louis the Sun King and all that, and um, he installs the street lights, and that's why they call Paris City of Lights and everything. I love like historical costume dramas like that. Such good shows. Um. Oh, do you remember El Deal? Yeah. Okay. What is the trope with girls and JRPGs who are always hungry? Wait, where's Adol? Frida? Who's 
Frida. Is Frida your friend? Is she the one that you met earlier? Your mysterious friend? Hmm. Oh, yeah. And of course, like all good JRPG heroes, he's an insomniac and cannot sleep. Let's see what our friends have to say. <laughs> I'll show you my meat, Karna. <laughs> oh, and they didn't want to give Ozma any kind of personality whatsoever. That's fine. Oh, okay. Sure. These streetlights almost look magical, you know? Like these almost like glowing little orbs and everything around it. Huh. I wonder how all that works. I wonder if they'll actually explain that. Probably not. And who are you? I've got a guess. I'm gonna go with Lisa. And not that trashy talk show host from the 90s either. The good Lisa from the previous games. It's another wing statue, but this one has four wings. Man, Breath of Fire 2 is strong with this one. One day, I intend for mankind to take to the skies. Just like this, on wings of their own creation. Hmm. Oh, so now we're getting a memory with Lisa again? Oh, we're going to meet El Deal. Great. Well, what is it? Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, that's your cue to go around here and just kind of explore. Oh. Huh, looks like a scientist maybe lives here or works here. A ship, a warship, a telescope, some sort of globe. A globe built out of puzzle pieces. Okay. Huh. Maybe this is like an archaeologist's office. An unrecognizable script. Hmm. Oh, okay. Great. Well, don't mind if I do. Let's head on over there and uh, see what he has to say. Do you have anything else to say, girl? Oh. Okay. Nothing to say. It's that glider again, but this one's tiny. And this must be El Deal with his wings. I guess that's what the statue was. It's pretty vain to have statues made after himself. Yeah, no kidding. Just, who are you? And why do you have wings? Are you a god or something? Like, what's going on here? One day, I intend for mankind to take to the skies, just like this, on wings of their own creation. However, now is not yet that time. The doors must be opened in the proper order. What are you talking about? The doors have to be opened in the proper order. Bring so, so you are a god. You bring harmony to this world. He seems like a peaceful god. That's nice. He has wings growing out of his ass. Like, shouldn't the wings be kind of connected to each other? But, like, it's two separate wings. One out of his shoulder blades and the other one, like, seriously, I'm right sorry. out of his asshole. That's unusual, to say the least. <laughs> now. Wait, things that you plan to have someone invent someday? That doesn't make any sense. Why don't you just invent them? Huh. What are you, like, Leonardo da Vinci or something? Oh, 
so you're not from around here and you continually like gift people with various inventions to improve their lives? Huh. Oh, yeah? I played E7 before, I know. Oh, so you gave the blueprints of the warships to Altago so they could fight the Roman Empire. Huh. I guess so. So this is how you keep the peace? Kind of a weird way to keep the peace, I've got to say. Oh. Huh. That guy seems rather strange for a god. Unable to sleep? Oh, hey there, Lisa. I'm so happy you're alive, Adolf. Do you remember my name? Uh, yeah. My! Of course I do. I guess so. It's fine. <laughs> um, quite a bit, I've got to say. Oh, really? Huh. Oh, the knowledge of the tower. So what, we're going to invent a tower? Like, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know either. I wonder what it wanted to tell us. The truth regarding my memories. Hmm. Oh. So that's why I lost my memories. Got you. That makes sense then. Oh, but I lost all of my memories. Huh. Well, maybe we're special. I don't know. Okay. Oh, thanks. Good night. Huh, I wonder what she was trying to get at there. How unusual. Oh, this girl again. Ugh. Yeah, no kidding. Carney, you're not the smartest, are you? It seems that way. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, what is up with that? Just answer the damn question, my god! Quit being such a frickin' pain in the ass! Oh, I hate this girl. Shut up! Answer the question! I'll reach over this table and throttle you. Ugh. Okay, got you. So we lose all other memories, but except for the memories that Lord Eldeal grants you personally. <laughs> what a bitch. Seriously, Duran's the smartest one here. He is an information dealer. That's what his job is. Huh, maybe. I never really thought of it that way. Yeah, uh, can we go? Can we get away from your stupid frickin' granddaughter? Ugh. 
Okay. Yeah. Indubitably. Oh, that's true. Maybe we'll regain some memories. You know, what is it, Karna? Really? You're really one to talk. Yeah, no kidding. What is this, like, pick on Durin Day? Oh, does she have to come with us? I don't want her to come. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Yikes. Uh, why not? Oh. Well, if we were there one time before, I mean, what's the big deal then? The Sanctuary of Storms. Uh-oh. Yikes! Yeah, the Sanctuary of Storms was in the uh, previous games as well. Okay. So yeah, now we can go exploring the town next time. Let's play E's Memories of Celsetta. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and... Have a good day.